Theater, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Well, good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake-up call for Friday, October 8th, 2010. Today marks the official kickoff for the full body scan at the St. Louis Airport and the announcement of the 2010 Nobel Peace Prize winner. What a combo, huh? The 33 miners trapped in Chile might be rescued by Sunday, three weeks ahead of schedule. The Red Flood... Uh, yeah, that's what they're calling the toxic sludge mess that leaked out of a chemical waste dump in Hungary. It has reached the Danube River, a key European waterway. So far, though, the damage is under control. Science types think they've figured out what's killing all the honeybees and causing colony collapse disorder. Not cell phones or radiation, but a virus-fungus combo special that's affecting the bees' digestion. President Obama pulled the old pocket veto punch while Congress is away on vacay. He is sending the foreclosure bill back for some retooling his point of contention banks filing paperwork out of state do you know your digital birth date the first day you appeared online 92 percent of kids these days have made their online debut by the age of two thanks mostly to eager parents posting sonograms and baby photos and nine-year-old Mackenzie Foy scored her big Hollywood break after being cast as Renesmee the love child of Bella and Edward and breaking down the fourth story in the Twilight series Mackenzie had bit parts on Tell Death and Flash Forward. Here's your national weather forecast, mostly sunny and in the 60s for the Northeast. Best weather by far will be in the South, sunny, dry and 70. Warm across the Midwest with afternoon thunderstorms looming from North Dakota to Kansas and stormy in the Pacific Northwest. That is your Friday morning wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good. <laughs>